Hi, I wanted to show you the new update to the customizable arms animations asset. It now includes the backward solve and what it allows you to do is to use the included control rig of the asset to open and make changes to animations that aren't included in this asset and we don't have the source files for. To demonstrate that, I'm here in the Epic's first person template project and I already added the customizable arms animations asset to the project. So let's say I want to edit one of the Epic's animations for the first person arms. Let's say I want to edit the rifle run animation. I don't have the source file for it. Let's take a look at this. This is the animation I want to edit. So what I can do is I can place the arms mesh in somewhere in the level. And I'm going to go to my animations folder and I'm going to create a level sequence file for it. And by the way, in Unreal Engine 5.1, level sequence is in the cinematics section. If you're using Unreal Engine 5.0 or Unreal Engine 4, it's in the animation section. So let's open the level sequence. And I'm going to drag my arms mannequin to the level sequence. I can delete the transform transform track that I don't need and I'm going to add a control rig track now I don't need to add this control rig track now but to be to make it easier to demonstrate I'm going to add it control rig you can see there is no control rig for me to choose that's because I have this option selected let me just untick it then the control rigs appear here we choose the arms control rig and now in the animation track i can add that running animation rifle run you can see it looks like it's not working that's because the control rig track is overriding the animation track i can just mute the control rig track and now the animation plays normally. Let me bring the end of the timeline here. Press F to focus. So it's playing the animation, but it's not using control rig. It's just playing the normal uh, animation sequence. And to bring this animation into the control rig, I will right click here, choose bake to control rig, not bake animation sequence, bake to control rig. And again, if, if the control rig doesn't show up here, you just have to, to untick this box. So I'll choose the arms control rig and the default settings are okay. You can see it added the keyframes for the control rig track, but it looks like it's not working because it, we muted the, the control rig track. Let me unmute. And the animation track got automatically inactivated because you're not going to use it, can delete this. Now I have the animation playing in the control rig track using the control rig controls and one important thing to notice is that this animation doesn't use the ik hand bones if i show if i show the bones here so this is ik handgun ik hand l and ik hand r they are not animated 
And many animations don't use these bones. So I've included an option in the backward solve to, in this case, position the gun controls at the position of the handgun, the hand bone, because it wouldn't make sense to have these controls positioned here where the IK bones are. Now let's say you want to edit an animation that does use the IK hand bones. Like for example, one of the animations included in the asset. Let's grab the reload empty animation. Let's stop it here. And let's grab the IK handgun. You can see this bone is located where the gun is. It's using all the IK bones. So in this case, it would make sense to place the the gun controls here at the IK hand gun bone. Of course, the source file for this animation is included in the asset, so we don't need to use the backward solve, but let's say we don't have the source file for this animation. We can just go into the control rig, go to the backward solve graph, And instead of using this node, we use this one. So just switch it here. This is for the right arm. And this is for the left arm. Compile and save. Now let's go to my animation level. to my animations folder, the level sequences folder. So here is the source file for the reload empty animation. Let's pretend we didn't have the source file. I'm going to create a new level sequence file, open it, and I'm going to drag the mannequin to the level sequencer and delete the trans transform track that I don't need going to the animation track and add the empty reload. Let's drag the end of the timeline here. Press F to focus. Let's mute this track. The animation is playing. Let's bake the animation to the control rig track. Right click here. Back to control rig, default settings are ok. Now we can delete this and unmute this. And you can see that the gun controls were placed at the position of the IK gun bone. This is useful, but you should only use this if the animation sequence that you are baking from does use the IK hand bones. Otherwise, it's safer just to use this node and this node because the hand bones are always animated so you place all the controls for the hands at the hand bones
and one last thing is this is Unreal Engine 5.1 if you're in Unreal Engine 5.0 there aren't separated graphs so there's only one graph and but you can always find the backward solve event by searching for backward solve you can go here and open the find results window and type backwards and it will find in any graph and if you're in Unreal Engine 4 control rig in Unreal Engine 4 is a bit buggy when it comes to IK bones so I didn't include this option in the Unreal Engine 4 version of this asset.